Hello, this is Mighty Owl. I've always wanted to be a gardener. What do you say we'd be gardeners for the day? Does that sound like fun? In our garden, I'd like to grow bean plants. Now let's imagine we have 50 beans and we need to plant them in trays. And you can plant 10 beans in each tray. How many trays will you need? Well, in order to solve this problem, we need to make groups of 10. But first, let's find out what a group of 10 is. A group of 10 means 10 objects that are grouped together. If, for example, here is a group of 10 flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What a beautiful bouquet! They smell fantastic and... Oh, sorry, I got distracted again. Back to grouping things in tens. Here is a group of ten eggs in a nest. And here is a group of ten beads on a string. Instead of saying a group of ten, we can just say a ten. So, how many tens are there in this picture? One, two, three. There are three tens in this picture. Uh, let's try another example. Oh, I see some juicy bunches of grapes. Each bunch has ten grapes. So how many tens are there in all? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six groups of ten, or six tens. And because each group has ten grapes, we can count by tens to find out how many grapes there are in all. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. There are sixty grapes. And that means that six tens is the same thing as sixty. Six tens equals sixty. And we have ourselves a great healthy snack. But maybe we should save it for later and go back out into the yard. Now a good gardener has to clean up the garden. There are a lot of leaves on the ground. What do you say we put them into groups of ten and string them together? I wonder how many groups of ten we can make. One, two, three, four... And there are four tens. Now count by tens to find out how many leaves there are in all. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Four tens is the same as forty. Four tens equals forty. And now it's time to bring out our mighty place value chart. The place value chart has the tens place and the ones place. In the tens place, uh, this one here, We'll write how many groups of tens there are. When we went out into the yard, we found 40 leaves. We made four groups of ten, and that means we made four tens. So under the word tens, we'll write the number four. But what should we write under the word ones, right over here? Ones means the number of things that are not part of a group of ten, uh, the things that are all by themselves. But do you see any leaves that are not part of a group of ten? Well, no. There are exactly four tens with none left over. And since there are no more leaves left over, we should write the number zero in the ones place. Now we can see that the number in the place value chart is 40, which is also the total number of leaves. Uh-oh, look! Three more leaves just fell off the tree. But these three extra leaves are not enough to make another group of ten, so we call them ones. One, two, three. There are three ones. In the place value chart, we'll write four tens and three ones. And now, there are 43 leaves. And before any more leaves fall, let's head over to the pond. We've got 70 fish and we need to put them into ponds. And we need to put 10 fish into each fish pond. Now to do this, we need to make groups of 10. Well, how many 10s are there in the number 70? 
A place value chart can help us find out. Uh, let's write the number 70 in the place value chart. The 7 goes in the tens place, and the 0 goes in the ones place. Uh, which number shows us how many tens there are? Because this is a tens place, we should read the number here, 7. And so there are 7 tens in the number 70. That means we can make 7 groups of 10. Good work! And by the way, are there any fish that are not in groups of 10? No. There are exactly 7 groups of 10 with none left over. But we do have to remember to write 0. Our 0 the hero placeholder. Without 0 the hero, our number wouldn't say 70. It would only say 7. Now that we've got that under our belts, let's go back to planting beans. We have 50 beans, and we want to know how many trays we need. So let's put 10 beans in each tray. And now that we know how to make groups of 10, we can figure out how many trays we need. Let's use a place value chart while making groups. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, that's one ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's two tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five tens. And are there any left over? Nope. Five tens, zero ones. There are exactly five groups of tens, which means we need five trays. Great work, you mighty gardener. Today we learned that a ten means a group of ten things. In the numbers 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90, the first number tells us how many tens there are. The number 80 has eight tens, as we can see in the place value chart. And because there are no ones left over after making eight groups of ten, there is a zero in the ones place. You did an awesome job of making groups of ten today, and I'll see you in the next lesson.